Big, big facts. Check it out, man. So, this, about two years ago, Floyd Mayweather's boys uh, got into a little controversy with not paying a driver, driver, and it made headline news. Check it out. Hello? This is Zion Mayweather. A driver says that Floyd Mayweather's children took him for a ride and never paid him for his services. He was also promised tickets and boxing gloves, but was never given those either. This morning, he's fighting back, speaking out, and getting police involved. Seventh Sheldon Fox has the exclusive from the Hard Rock. Undefeated in his remarkable campaign, he's a living legend. But the man who says he worked for boxing icon Floyd Mayweather's family says he was figuratively punched in the gut. I ended up driving all the five days pretty much, you know, for free. That is First of all, you a dummy. I never took that deal. They're going to have to pay me daily. Uh-uh, you're not going to tell me. Uh, You might got me on that first day. You ain't going to get me on the second because uh, I'm going to need my money by the end of the day, bro. We're going to have to work out some arrangement where I'm getting paid daily. If, I, if I'm an independent driver. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather. Zion Mayweather and his brother Karan, Floyd's sons, rode in the driver's vehicle for days and didn't pay up, says that driver, who says he's afraid for his safety and wants to remain anonymous. But he filed a police report with Miami Beach cops who claim they're investigating this claim. And what happened with the Uber? Uber was around during this time? I mean, what? As a third degree felony. The driver says he first picked up the two brothers at the Fountain Blue Hotel last weekend to show for them around town ahead of their dad's fight. The driver says he did that in exchange for two plus grand and a glove signed by Mayweather and a free ticket to the fight that took place Sunday. They never gave you the tickets to the fight. Never. Never gave you the boxing glove signed. Floyd Mayweather never signed that glove. But here's video he took of Money Mayweather this weekend signing for other athletes. Gosh. You know, thousands of dollars. He says he was sent these videos of the money he was promised. We're in the back of the suburban that the Mayweather brother. I will never understand why Floyd carry cash. I can't stand carrying cash. And this is this society is going to end up being a cashless. It's heading to a cashless society anyway. As you know, the stores don't even carry cash like that no more. So I don't know what. I don't know how Floyd going to survive, man, when he can't carry cash no more. Others rode in for five plus days at about 13 plus hours a day, according to the driver. But when it was time to pay up, he said... I mean, it's real... Stu it's just stupid, to be honest. To carry that much cash around is stupid, bro. My man, I love my goddamn debit card. It's convenient. I ain't got to worry about no change. I just pay. Come on, bro. I love credit cards and debit cards. I love that. What is the... This, this obsession with carrying loads of cash around. It's stupid, bro. They bobbed, weed, <sighs> and left him high and dry. My father and it's easy for you to get robbed. This report, and I'm going to move forward with this. A beach police report says that... Or lose the money. Fiber dealt with separate... You can't call uh, the bank and say, Hey, I lost $10,000 in cash. Can y'all stop the payment? No. You just asked out attempts to collect payment with negative results. They see my time, they see my money, they see my air for. He did say he was paid 700 bucks. That's far short of what they agreed upon. We reached out to the Mayweather camp on Wednesday night, called his reps on the phone. We're still waiting for a call back. And we're in Miami Gardens outside of Hard Rock Stadium. That's Delta crazy, Rock, bro. Today in Florida. You know what? I don't know what's up with these... I don't know, you know, we don't know if this this driver was working for a company and tried to sneak do, behind the company's back and get money and get paid on the side. I don't know if that's the case because he don't want to show his, he don't want to identify himself. That's suspicious to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I think he worked for a company because they know who you are, bro. So it's not like. You don't want to identify yourself because you don't want to snitch on. You don't want them to find out it's you. 
Nah, they know who you are. They know who I'm told, identity or not. It's not that. They know who they got over on. <laughs> I think what it was, he was trying to snake the company, and he ended up getting snaked. That's what I think happened. But uh, 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 I don't know why they didn't use Uber, though, to be honest with you. But who knows, man. Whatever. But um, you know what, man? I, I noticed with Floyd's kids, they look like they both are like. I've seen Money Yaya post she bored. She says she posted she bored a lot on IG. You know, and it looks like they don't have nothing going on. As you can see, the uh, Zion, the the, bro, the the one of Floyd's sons was looking dusty on here. They just look like they don't have nothing going on, man, with themselves, man. Look, he, he just looked like he, he ain't got nothing going on. Uh, you know what I'm saying? His, his, whole, his whole swagger energy says, I don't have shit going on, man. I just get my, I just spend my dad money. He needs some shit going on. Like, if I was Floyd, I would set all my kids up with a guy. If, if at least he could do is set them up with a franchise they can run. You know what I'm saying? Set them all up with a McDonald's or whatever kind of franchise they want. Set them up with a McDonald's or Burger King or KFC or whatever. Set their ass up with a, a business to run, man. Because they bored. They ain't got shit to do but get into trouble. Money Yaya is an example. She ain't have shit that maybe she had something to do. She wouldn't have got around, wouldn't have got with what happened. She might, she, you know what I'm saying? They, I think they need more structure, man. I, I send their ass to business school, whatever you got to do. But they need their own money. You know what I'm saying? They need their own business because when, when Floyd, when Floyd die, what they going to do? You know what I mean? Like, do they even know how? To be responsible with money? I mean, do they even know how to make money? I would set, if I was Lord, I would set all my kids up with a franchise. You know, it, whatever you got to do to own that franchise. You know, if you got to go to business school, if you got to take some classes to know what you're doing to be in charge of that franchise, then that's what you need to do. I set them all up so they won't be dependent on me to get them money. So whatever they want, you know, they want to own some apartment buildings, you know, set their ass up. Here you go. Buy, buy this. I mean, that, that's the Christmas gift. That's a birthday gift. Instead of a goddamn uh, car or whatever, buy their ass a franchise. Buy their ass, set their ass up with some land, an apartment complex, a, a brand new apartment complex you build and set their ass up with that. You know what I'm saying? Invest in your children, bro, because that's what generational wealth is all about. You know what I mean? He's the first. They are all first generations. Floyd is a first generation of generational wealth in his family. You know, they come from the ghetto. They come from struggle. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to keep that generational wealth going, you got to set your kids up, man. They look like they ain't got nothing going on. Money yaya out here. Need to be in a business class somewhere. Need to be learning something. And I, I think Money Yaya, she knows the business. They, 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 they saying she's going to run TMT. She's the heir to the TMT throne or whatever. Or, or Mayweather promotions. Well, that's cool. You know, I hope so. That would be good. But they all don't need to be running Mayweather promotions, I don't think. Well, they can have a stake in it, but I'm talking about now. Right now, there's a lot of businesses out there, and they can have and they can have that chance to uh, run those businesses, keep their ass busy, so they won't get into trouble. And that way, they can have their own money. They wouldn't be have, having the stiff cab drivers. <laughs> All these, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying they can be responsible for having their own money. You know, like I said, a franchise would be cool. Would be good for them. Each one of them. Well, he got about four four kids. Yeah. A McDonald's for you. You want the, the what? What the brother want? 
He want a Dunkin' Donuts. What he want? He want a McDonald's. He want he want a Burger King. He want a uh, what? A Pizza Hut. Uh, what he want? A Crystals. Give him that. The daughter. What she want? She want to own an apartment complex. Okay, baby, you 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 got this apartment complex. You you the owner of this apartment complex right here. It bring in so and so amount of money a month or a year. You make you gonna bring you gonna make about six figures a year with this franchise. You gonna make about six figures. All y'all gonna make about six figures a year. And then you can grow. You can grow into two franchises. Now you own two. Now you own three. Now you own a block. Yeah, they need to be set up for real. You know what I mean? Have some real pride about themselves, you know, carry themselves in a way. Oh, I'm a businessman. Oh, I'm a businessman. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have that look on their face. They'll have a more serious, stern look like, yeah, I'm running my shit. I got my shit together. You know what I'm talking about? That's it for me, man. Big, big facts. Peace.